Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's really exciting because we can really finally start implementing multiple linear regression in Python. And it's really, really easy. The, it's actually much easier than the simple linear regression we wrote before because now that we've got NumPy, it's going to be awesome. So here's our code from before. And first off, remember that simple linear regression is just a subset or a simplification of multiple linear regression when you have only uh, an intercept, this beta naught, and then another parameter beta one, which is the slope. And so we only have actually one predictor here. So the difference, uh, the, di the main difference here is that X has, you know, multiple components. It's first, we can treat its first component as one to be simple. So that lines up well with the beta naught because it's not multiplied by anything. But then all of its other components are, you know, actual values. So the output of our function, which I'm just going to copy this over, and I'll be doing this a lot, is just copying functions and converting them into a NumPy form, is our prediction is still continuous value, it's still y hat, but it's the np dot dot, this is how we do a dot product in NumPy, is we just take uh, one vector, dot it with the other one, np dot dot beta, and then x, okay? And so we're going to assume in this case that beta and x both are pretty much, you know, they are actually, I should say exactly, we're going to assume, and so I'll write this in here, that's very important. So beta, and actually, I'll just write the, uh, the parameters here. So beta is a numpy dot array, um, dot array with shape p comma. Okay, and so that's, that means we're using one of these things which I made a big deal before about what's a column vector, what's a row vector, and it's kind of confusing. Uh, a lot of the time we're just gonna stick with this main object as our vector. So something that looks like this, if that was our beta vector. And so its shape is three comma. Okay, so that's what I mean by that. So we're gonna stick with this format right here to make it easy. So we're gonna assume that beta is an NP, or it's an, it's a NumPy array with a shape of however many parameters that we have. Uh, and then that's it, okay? And then actually, and then x, x, so x is a, let me just write it here so it looks the same, is a numpy dot array with shape p comma as well, because we want to be able to do the dot product on it, um, but it's with, so with x sub zero, so that first component of it equal to one, okay? So really, we only have p minus one uh, variables that are useful, we just make it p so that this first component is it's a one so that it lines up well with the beta not with the beta not so that we can do this dot product. Okay, so that's all that our function is. And let me just write explicitly if that didn't make sense is this all this is, is beta zero plus plus beta one times x one plus dot 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 all the way up until we have beta sub, and I write it like this, p minus one, p minus one times x p minus one. Okay, I don't know if that made it better or more confusing, but the point is that it's the same thing. It's just, we have p parameters and that's our solution. So to write this in NumPy, it's so easy. It's as simple as writing return, return, if beta and x are in these shapes, well, then it's just the numpy dot dot of beta and x. Remember, if we had np dot dot of, let me just say, so for example, actually, we can just do it here to pass it along. We can say beta is equal to the numpy dot array of, say, 1, 2, 3. So beta naught was 1, beta 2 was 2, and beta, sorry, beta naught is 1, beta 1 is 2, beta 2 is 3. And so maybe we had some particular x, maybe x1, whatever, I'm just saying the first person, for example. Maybe they were the numpy dot array of their first thing has to be one, we specified that, and then it has to have the same length. So maybe we had four and then five. And then so all that y hat is, y hat on beta and x1, that's the dot product and it's 24. One, this is one, then two and four is eight, so that's nine total. And then three and five is 15. So 15 plus nine is 24, that's our solution. And we're gonna be doing this a lot where we just take a function over here 
and we convert it to its NumPy form and notice how easy it is and it's faster to compute and it's generalizable so much better. It's just good to go through the annoying process at first to see what's see the transition. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video where we implement uh, maybe one or two more of these functions. We'll see how long it takes. See you then.